What's up guys? This video is showing you how to use Zapier or at least get set up so you can get started with it. And what it does is it's going to connect your apps as you see here and allows you to automate a lot of processes instead of doing them manually. So you can come here to pricing and you can see here this one's free. So they let you try it for free. You get a hundred tasks per month and you get up to five zaps. So that's how you can get started. As you grow, you're going to want to move up down the line. And what I recommend is finding a team who would want to go in on a plan with you. And that's going to make it a lot cheaper. So you can add a bunch of people to that team and get unlimited zaps with quite a few tasks that you're probably not going to hit, even with multiple people, to make this affordable and automate a lot of stuff for you. So I'm just going to log in quick. So this is a free plan, right? I got 100 tasks, one zap. You can come here to zaps and see everything that you've created right here. You can have unlimited drafts, but five active on this free plan. Uh, you can come to apps here, and this will show you what you can connect. So say you want to... Anytime you get an email, send it to a Google Sheet. You would search for like whatever your email provider is and add that and then whatever your Google Drive account is and add that. And those two will be connected from that point. Um, and you can create a, a zap that starts with the first trigger. The trigger would be, you know, Gmail, a new email, and you could search your account right there, find which inbox it's in, could be inbox, could be spam, could be important, whatever ones, and once it finds that, you can test the trigger and it will pull up an email for you. So this was a payment notification from Gmail. And I'll hit continue. Then I would select like Google Sheets. Um, and what I would want is like update spreadsheet row. And I would pick my Google Sheets account. Connect that account here pick the spreadsheet that I want to use and you can create a new one just for this if you want I'm just going to pick this one worksheet is basically which tab on the spreadsheet and this is the row you're going to select and then you got this info right so this is what you can grab from the previous step so you can see in here I have an email, I have a subject. Um, all that data is getting pulled through from the previous step. So I could put any time I get an email from this address, it's going to create a new spreadsheet row, stuff like that. I use this for a lot of different stuff. So... Any task that you're finding you're doing over and over, you want to start to automate a lot of that. That way it's taken off your plate. You don't have to pay anyone to do it. It just happens. Um, so once you get that connected, come up here and name your zap. And you can turn that zap on right there. You can also share zaps. So there are some already created. If you want to run a search, Here in Explore, it gives you a bunch of zaps that people have already created. Save new Gmail emails, post new RSS items, share new Instagram posts to Facebook. So all kinds of things. Create Trello cards from new rows on Google Sheets. 
It integrates with almost any app you can think of. You can scroll through here and see all the apps it integrates with. Some are premium, like QuickBooks and stuff like that. You might not be able to use on the free plan, but there are a ton available that you will be able to use. So once you get into the advanced stages of Zapier, you can do things like automatically create Facebook custom audiences for retargeting, um, adding data to QuickBooks to do your bookkeeping on autopilot, and lots of cool stuff like that. So just get in on the free plan, start using it, and uh, play around with it a bit. Um, one last thing I want to mention is if you're having an issue with a zap, you might want to come here to task history, and that will show all the tasks that have run, and you'll have a task log here. Sometimes it will say failed for whatever reason. These two have succeeded, but if it fails, you can click into it, see what exactly happened, if you had any issues. Um, that's a good way to troubleshoot what might be going wrong. So go ahead and get a free Zapier account. Hopefully you take some work off your plate. And I'll show you some cool Zaps I use in a lot of my training if we get to work together um, at a later time. So hopefully that's helpful. Go ahead and grab the four must-have Chrome extensions from the next step in the toolkit.